Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show, the traveling road show edition. I'm back up in the Pacific Northwest for a while, but I thought I'd get you updated on Arizona real estate. And today's the day that we started to see some articles coming out talking about how we have the highest year-over-year -year decline in real estate in 11 years. And you read that headline and you go, holy cow, didn't realize it was that bad. And I have a good friend up here and uh, he told me the other day, he goes, I hear real estate's really bad, that home prices are down about 30%. And I thought, where's he getting his news? Now, to be fair, he's retired, his house is paid off, he really doesn't care. <laughs> he's in a good position. But uh, I said, no, actually it's, it's not. In fact, home values are starting to come back up. So what's with the headline? Well, year over year, you know, remember we had that big plunge that started as soon as rates doubled and uh, it, prices went down and uh, now they're coming up. And we had gone down about 17% and uh, a lot of that's getting erased. So they're looking at the year over year percentage and nationally it's down 1.7%. But once again, when you read the headline, it's like, holy cow. The other dynamic that's happening, and I've seen this with uh, some of my family as well, is that because existing home inventory is so low that there's this big gravitation towards new construction. And uh, the new construction industry looks like they played it right. Uh, they held back for a while. And, you know, they didn't see this coming. They didn't see existing home sales uh, go down as low as they are. But they're, they've got uh, buyers gravitating towards new construction. And uh, my niece and her husband are gonna be signing a contract this week in the Seattle area. And for a couple reasons. One, they just couldn't find anything in the resale market. And number two, they really liked the interest rates that they were being offered in new construction and the new floor plans. So they're doing well. New construction is uh, taking off like crazy. In fact, I believe that they're Prices are up 6% so far this year, so they're surviving. Is business slow? Yeah, it's, it's really slow. I mean, so you're also going to see headlines saying that sales are at record lows, and they are. But sales are at record lows, while inventory is at a record low. So once again, you've got that problem with supply and demand. It's pushing prices up slightly higher every month. In some areas around the valley, those Nasty bidding wars are starting to show up again, especially in Chandler and Gilbert in certain price ranges. The luxury market's not dipping like we thought it might, despite what was going on with the stock market. There are some jitters now with the debt ceiling, but as of what I've read this morning, it sounds like we're getting closer to an agreement. But anytime there's uncertainty in the market, it's gonna affect mortgage rates, the bond market, and just consumer sentiment altogether. Until that nonsense gets out of the news, I expect every week to be just a little bit slower. You've also got the time of year where there's graduations, uh, people getting ready for um, uh, to list their homes in June, and so this is just a slow time of year in the Arizona market. If you're looking at selling, uh, right now the numbers are still in your favor. Um, buying interest rates have gone up this week. Well, I think I looked and they're like 6.69. Kind of surprising to me, given the inflation numbers were not as uh, bad as some people had projected, but they also weren't as good as some people were expecting. So uh, sales have gone down considerably the past seven days. We did have, we were running an average of about 3,400 homes going under contract every seven days, and that went down to 3,000 today. Again, the Mother's Day number is inside of that. Mother's Day plus graduation, sales are way, way down, to be expected this time of year. Will they go up? Probably, but we're gonna have to see what happens to rates. Now, the Fed gets together again in June, and they're going to decide whether or not they're going to go up another 25 basis points, or if they're gonna hold. A lot of debates on that. Nobody's really sure where this is gonna shake out, uh, but uh, the whole market is just predicated on rates. What's it gonna take for people to list their homes? Not sure. I think it's gonna take, it, we're really between a rock and a hard place, don't you think? I mean, if rates go down, buyers are gonna go, this is great, this is a good opportunity for me. And sellers are gonna go, well, I'm still sitting here at 3%, rates are down about five and a half, I think I'll still say stay put. But at five and a half, we already know that buyers come out of the 
sidelines and jump in and uh, and will they do that again and if they start doing it in mass numbers here we go again bidding wars people waiving inspections people paying cash again are starting to show up but not in huge numbers the i buyers have really backed off i know a lot of you are still getting letters in the mail and offers for your house but it's it's not at the level that it used to be so i don't see that picking up and gaining steam a lot of investors have moved beyond Arizona. I do get inquiries every day. Rick, do you have anything that's distressed that you can sell me? So investors are looking for distressed properties that they can fix up. And uh, some of them do a pretty good job of, of fixing them up, selling them. Others are just absolutely horrid. <laughs> but this problem that we're seeing with inventory is everywhere. It's not unique to Arizona. It seems to be a bigger problem in the bigger metropolitan areas. Um, inventory is also a problem once again in Southern California. Sales are way down again in Southern California. So we're not seeing that huge wave of buyers coming from California to Arizona like we were. Um, so that has been part of the slowdown that we're seeing. But we've just got interest rate jitters. We've got uh, uncertainty in our markets. So things are just slow. And, but the headlines, I always caution you when you read the headlines, like the one you're probably going to see um, today, that says sales uh, prices are at a year over year at a lowest point in 11 years. You think, oh man, like my friend, I heard we were down 30%. No, it's only 1.7. So the headlines like to grab your attention, but there's always devil in the details when you look at the bottom. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at rick at rickhelps.com, even though I'm not in Arizona right now, I have a strong referral team, so if there's anything you need help with, either selling or buying, give me a holler, but you can't blame me for hanging out at this place, can you? Take care.